Here is another kidney. You could see that instantly again. Now, there is a whole wide spectrum of changes seen in the kidneys with the mother of all autoimmune diseases called systemic lupus erythematosus. Uh, there are many changes seen with lupus in the kidneys. They generally are more likely to involve the glomeruli rather than the tubules. Here is a classic type of change noted in the kidneys with lupus. Notice as we go closer and closer into the uh, kidney, you could see that the glomeruli appear to have a lot of thickened material in the basement membrane. You may have to take a little bit of this on faith, but I think you will agree that with all the glomeruli that you've seen in your life, it looks like the spaces between the capillaries. Here's a capillary, here's a capillary, here's a capillary. And everywhere you see a blood cell, there's a capillary. The spaces between these capillaries are generally diffusely thickened. These are due to uh, deposits, immune deposits, within the uh, glomerular basement membrane. In addition, there's a term called wire loops. And wire loops are nothing more than uh, basement membranes which appear to be somewhat wiry, like a wire loop. And that's what this yellow area arrow would like to display as well. This is a very, very common finding in SLE, systemic lupus erythematosus, another autoimmune disease in which the body reacts to its own DNA. And although uh, DNA is present in every cell in our body, usually the organ of most concern in, when young women get lupus is uh, the kidney. So even though lupus is a systemic disease, uh, the most serious clinical problems are usually uh, appear in the uh, kidney and specifically the glomeruli in immune posit depositions and wire loops are one of them. Thank you very much.